and welcome to WePC. I'm Danielle and I'm here today to teach you how to go live on Twitch. But first, before we dive into the nitty gritty details, there are a few things you need to consider before you start streaming. First of all, while Twitch may have become famous for gaming content, that's not the only thing on there anymore. So you need to decide where you fit in on the platform. You could focus on gaming content or ASMR, talk shows, artwork, music. There's so much on there now everyone can get involved, but you need to make sure that you narrow down your niche so that you're not competing with every single person on the platform. Speaking of niches, you also need to figure out what makes you unique. There are so many channels on Twitch now that if you want to stand out and grow, you're going to have to have something special about you in order to do that. So it might be that you're really, really good at one game and you can go in and stream it and win every time and get amazing high scores. Or it may be that you consistently scream and yell at the camera while failing to win your first crown in Fall Guys, Wh whichever works for you. So with all that in mind, let's show you how to start your first stream. First thing you'll need to do is set up some broadcasting software. The main choices for this are usually Streamlabs, OBS and XSplit. For our Twitch, I choose to use Streamlabs. While this is downloading, the next step is to set up your Twitch stream profile. So let me show you how to do it. Head over to twitch.tv and log into your account. Click the small logo in the top right corner that looks like a profile picture and select create a dashboard. Once in here, head to stream manager. Then fill out this info like it's a profile page. Add a title, category and a go live notification. Now we need to configure the streaming software that you've chosen to go with. Since we use Streamlabs, we're going to show you how to set that up. Navigate to settings, which can sometimes be a small cogwheel in the top right corner. Now navigate to stream in your settings window, although this can sometimes be called broadcast settings. Under the stream type, select streaming services. And under the service header, you can select which streaming platform you wish to use, which in this case is Twitch. Now you're going to need your stream key, which you can see a box for at the bottom of your Streamlabs settings. Head back onto twitch.tv, navigate to your dashboard just like before, but this time click on the tab labeled stream underneath the settings header. Right at the top of this page, you will see your primary stream key. Copy this and head back over to the streamer software. Now back in your streaming software, you want to paste the stream key into the relevant field labeled stream key and select done or okay. And now it's time to go live. All that's left to do is choose your game in Streamlabs and broadcast. So there you have it. Of course, this was a very basic guide of how to go live on Twitch. There are many other options that you could consider. For example, you can stream directly from PlayStation and Xbox, but your settings are very limited, so you don't get to customize it as much as you would on PC. But if you want us to show you how to do that, then just let us know and we'd be happy to help. And of course, there's so many other things that you can include in your Twitch streams that we haven't had a chance to go over, like custom overlays, custom alerts, or when people subscribe or donate money to your stream. So if you wanna find out any of these other tips and tricks for streaming on Twitch, make sure to let us know in the comments down below and we'll make a video just for you. And of course, if you enjoyed this video, please give us a thumbs up, click that subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you never miss a video. And as always, I'll see you in the next one.